Unlocking English. Mastering modal verbs. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to tackle an important aspect of English grammar, modal verbs. In particular, we'll dive deep into understanding the function of modal verbs. So, let's get started. Modal verbs are special types of verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. The common modal verbs in English are can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must, and ought to. Unlike regular verbs, modal verbs have a few special characteristics. 1. They don't change their form, regardless of the subject. 2. They don't require an S in the third person singular form. 3. They are always followed by a verb in its base form. But, how do these modal verbs function in a sentence? That's what we'll explore next. The key to mastering modal verbs is understanding the different functions they serve in a sentence. Let's break it down. 1. Expressing ability. Can and could are used to talk about someone's ability or skills. For example, she can swim. 2. Asking for and giving permission. May, could, and can are used when asking for permission, whereas may, might, and can are used to give permission. For example, May I use your pen? Or, you may leave now. 3. Making requests and offers. Could, can, and would can be used to make polite requests or offers. For example, could you pass the salt, please? Or, would you like a cup of tea? 4. Expressing possibility or probability. May, might, could, and must are often used to talk about the likelihood of something happening. For example, it might rain today. 5. Giving advice, should, and ought to, are used to give advice. For example, you should study before the exam. 6. Expressing obligation or necessity, must, and have to, express an obligation or a necessity. For example, you must be at the airport by 8 a.m. Remember, the meaning of the modal verb can change based on the context of the sentence, so practice is key to understanding them fully. And that's a wrap on our lesson on the function of modal verbs. Remember, these verbs are crucial in English, as they allow you to express a wide range of conditions and possibilities. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to practice using these modal verbs in your daily English conversations. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.